here we go again. I got some 10 microfarad capacitors. I got two of them because one I'll use in a sewing fan and the other one I'll use in here if it's the right size. Okay, so we're going to have to take the switch off again. Okay, and I think we said that the I think we said the red one was low. I don't remember for certain, so let's uh, just give it a quick check to make sure that that's the case. Yep, that is the case. So now let's take our capacitor. And we're going to put this 10 microfarads in between low and switch. And let's see what happens. Okay, this is a pretty big capacitor, so let's see if I can get this to sit down in there well enough. I think that'll be okay. Well, we'll find out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's see what that looks like on the uh, on the kilowatts here. Just make sure we're not giving a bad power draw. Okay, 0 0.32, 0 0.30, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's definitely slowed down quite a bit. Much quieter. I think that may work. So now let's see how we can secure this in here. This was never meant to have two capacitors inside here. Now we have to secure this capacitor down. So, alright, well, first let's put the switch back because that will determine how much range we have on the capacitor wire. Okay, put the switch back on. Oh, that's on backwards. 
Okay, so what can we do about mounting this now? It does have a screw hole, but there's not really anything to screw it on to. I could, I could make another bracket like um, we see for that, you know, the original capacitor. I kind of would like to put it somewhere over the switch because it's, very, it's a pretty big capacitor. I don't want it restricting a lot of airflow. Um, I'm thinking maybe right there, almost like over the switch. I think that would be fine to do that. There's also that screw for the grounding. I wonder if I could connect it to that screw somehow. It's going to be kind of tricky here. Hmm. If you just put it right there, I think that's okay. I don't see anything wrong with that. So I'm just for now until I make sure. You know, I got to run this for a while and make sure this is going to work. For now, I'll just take some some twist tie wire and hold it down that way. And then when I find out if this is going to work, then I will find some way to secure it better more permanently or completely permanently Jeez, this is hard. <laughs> it shouldn't be. It should be easy. No, I don't want to use this wire. I'm going to use something stronger. Because I don't want this coming off. A repeat of Dave's fiasco over here. Not good. Um, see, this capacitor is too daggone big. Okay, let me get some different wire here. I got, um, I got this wire, which is a lot stronger. Let me try using this. And then I can I can kind of wrap it tighter. And this is just really f experimental. Once I once I run this for a while and it doesn't heat up or anything like that, and this, I determine the speed has matched my preference, I'll tie wrap it or something, in, and then that should be fine. But just for now, I want to do this. Okay, that I'm I'm confident with that. That's not going nowhere. Okay, let's put the cards back on and see how it operates. Because it does operate slightly differently with the cage on. Okay, so 
So it's at 121 volts. Here's the high, which is unchanged. Here's the medium. Oh, that's the off. There's the medium, which is also unchanged. And there's the low. There's definitely more of a difference now. I think that's pretty good. You know, it's, it's relatively quiet. And uh, it's still moving air. Well, that may be a winner. I could I could maybe drop it down to like a nine or an eight if you want to get real picky, but technically what you could do, get like a five speed switch and just keep adding capacitors <laughs> and go a whole bunch of speeds, but I think this is good. I think this will work. Gotta test it. Gotta run it for a while, make sure motor temps are under control, because sometimes if it's going too slow, you don't get enough air moving over the motor, then it overheats. That's a possibility. We gotta watch for that. But uh, if that don't happen, I think this will be the fix.